hello my beautiful people i hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday um, in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up tire tracks using blender particle system um, you can do this using the dynamic weight painting already but this is a new cool way um, i figured out and i want to share it with you guys <music> So what we have in the scene so far is just a simple car animation um, of a car just moving around. The, car, the, the tire is actually not rotating so that's fine. We just want to simulate the tire tracks and we'll not be using any other geometry just this. So the next thing you will need is an emitter. So I've created one for us and this is how it looks. So these are just um, vertices that were created along or within uh, close to the tires as you can see um, it's just placed roughly at the end at this point and we have one here okay and then I use the constraint um, to parent this so I did I mean you could actually just delete the constraint and select this emitter shift select the car and hit ctrl P so we can do copy with transform so that works as you can see it follows along and once you have all of this set, you're good to go. So we can go ahead and add our particle system and selecting the emitter object, this one. So here's it. We click on add new particle system. So it's, um, we'll just be doing some basic changes. So for the end and start frame, we know our, we want it to last um, roughly 150 frames. So we can set the end to be 150. So you want to adjust this as needed um, for the lifetime you also want it to last to the end of the frame i mean if you want the tire tracks to dis um, disappear to kind of optimize the geometry or kind of for any reason um, you can play with the lifetime um, so that's all with the emitter so importantly for the source you want to set it to emit from vertices and that's that and if we play this uh, you can see it's working now, but the tires, um, the particles are just falling down. So I, I know, I know you can guess what's next. We can go ahead and turn off gravity, and you can see it's it's working. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, for the next, we need to play with the velocity to make it feel and act like a like it's just painting along the tracks. Um, so for that, we want to turn off the normals. So. Um, this is what you see. So because we turned off the normal, it's not movie, moving and it's just creating the particles and it's just staying in place. So you could achieve this in two ways. You could, if you also want more force, you can use the object velocity. Like if you want it to react more, you can use the object velocity. You can turn this to negative one as needed. You could either play with positive or negative, but anyone. Um, then finally you want to go to physics and increase the damping and increase the drag so that um, either way it's just paints on the ground and doesn't move at all so we can actually just turn all of this off because um, you can actually achieve all of this by just setting this to zero and letting it just create the particles on as it moves along okay so once you're happy um, you want to bring in an image texture um, so um, the image texture we bring in, in is, let me just open it up, is this one. So it's kind of, uh, this is not an accurate re representation of a tire track. So you might want to um, use that as a more, a better reference, but it should be something like this, um, just a black and white image. Um, it's a transparent image. So what Blender will see is just this black uh, max. So I'm going to Im import that as an image plane. So I have this saving desktop and I'm also going to choose shadeless and import image plane. So it has imported it and we can preview it in Eevee. This is how it looks. So I want to remove this white outline and to do that, I am going to add a color ramp. And adjust the black spot so it just pushes that away. So for the final um, Chopin shown, uh, we can go to the particle selecting the emitter and go to render, set render as object, and we'll be selecting the image plane which we added. 
and now finally we also want to click on object rotation so it copies that um, in case we want to do any adjustment uh, so we can just scale this up and if we preview it um, you can see how it looks so now we just up, um, adjust this um, so if I scale Y to kind of create a dis uh, um, dis distinction between the tracks um, you can see it's working now so if you have any other physics system uh, in your scene it's it will it will be wise if you go ahead and under the field weight you want to do um set this all to zero so that um any other changes your any simulation in your scene will not affect this so this is basically it now you can create any animation and you see it works perfectly so let's do that so i'm just going to ride the car a bit And it's great because if you have the ground plane, you can just use the ground plane as a collision object. Um, so if you an animate the car to inter um, kind of acknowledge the ground plane, the particle system will just um, act accordingly. So let's me see. Okay. So if you're getting like um, the, this kind of obvious this um, distinction, you can always increase the particle count and let's bake this so it's done baking so as you can see it works nicely so you go closer you can see what's happening so all of this is just particles and you can really play with this um, to achieve so many cool effects. So I hope this tutorial is helpful and fun. If you enjoyed it, uh, please give this video a like. And if you wish to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. So by the way, if you're getting this, um, the way to fix it is actually just using constraint and uncheck rotation so that it doesn't, the rotation doesn't distort so much. Um, or you can add a constraint or set up something that allows the Vertex to rotate or something, um, but yeah, you just play with it. It's a very cool um, starting point, and everything is in your hands. And one more thing before we go, um, you can also play with the alpha if you're familiar with um, shading in Blender. Let's see. Uh, so, um, where is that? So you can always use like mix and just to create cooler like if you want to break up the cleanliness of this you can always do that with playing with the texture because this is just texture and you can achieve anything so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video bye bye for now see you next time